guys, welcome to my channel. She stole your camera. Uh, enjoy the message for me. I don't know how to stop Paula's a criminal, you see this? You see this activity? Did you want some Prosecco? Stop filming me. Good morning. It's day two of the Student Brew Conference. Friends, I'm up early morning so I'm going to get breakfast because the breakfast is not here. It's in the uni, which is about 20 minutes bus journey. The campus is like in the country side of Norwalk and we're in the city of Norwalk so it's, it's like, I wish they were close to the hotel and the campus but they're not. There's more talks and then there's the student radio awards. We're nominated for two radio awards. City Radio is nominated for two radio awards. Ah! So we make an award. So yeah, that's what I have to say at student radio conference. Day two. Hey guys, good morning. Um, so yeah, this is our panel kind of exploring women's roles, women's roles in radio. I'm going to say well done for like getting up this early. I didn't even sleep last night, so I respect you all for being here. Um, so yeah, we're going to be kind of uh, celebrating the amazing women in the industry and exploring the realities of the working world. Um, so yeah, I'm Jaguar. Um, I used to do LSR. Big up LSR. I see you. I see you. Um, yeah, and now I'm a DJ and a presenter at Represent Radio in London, and I work across the BBC as well in production. Um, but I'm going to introduce you now to our wonderful, wonderful panel. So starting on this end, we've got um, Jocelyn Stainer, who is the head of production for BBC Radio One, One Extra, and Asian Network. Yeah, what? yeah, no, I yes, yeah. Get those morning guys in. <laughs> We've got uh, Sachandrika, who is a me multimedia journalist, presenter of the Black Mirror Cracked podcast, which we had this amazing conversation about Black Mirror earlier, honestly. I was shook. Um, and then we've got Christy Drugstown, who is the head of programming at Rinse FM and a sick DJ. And then here's what's going to happen. We're going to come up with an idea with everyone here. We're going to make a podcast. We're going to record it with no special equipment other than a phone. We're going to do the entire thing on a phone. You don't need a studio, you don't need anything else. Just to say, it's just an iPhone, built in this garage van, that's all we're going to use. So basically what's built into your phone, the only reason it's plugged in is so that you can put it up on the big screen. Before we record our sounds, so you can get your motivation and think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do this, um, we need uh, a, a voice of the show. So who's got a great voice in here? Come on, there you go, straight away, come on down. We also need. Really? There we go. We used to drop in music, but we want to do it completely without, so we need someone to sing the music and you sung the theme tune. Sweet Sneakers Now, Elizabeth Ohario. Sweet Sneakers Now, 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 Sweet Sneakers Now. Wonderful, round of applause! Let's do our introduction first though, because I almost forgot, there we go. Right, so if you want to come and stand, if you're talking to the phone, so the only thing we've prepared here is we've just written it down, so introduce yourself, and then if you add on to that, this is Sweet Sneaker Sounds. Hi, I'm Philip Carl Kostelecki, and you're listening to Pod Talks, recorded live at the Student Radio Conference 2018. This is Sweet Sneaker Sounds. Please, will you do my voicemail? How <laughs> <laughs> um, cool is that voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So what we're going to do now? So Chris has recorded that, but as you can see, he's put it into GarageBand. Now, this is already installed on your iPhone. If you've not got it, it's already free. You can re-download it and put it on. And it's a nice, simple digital audio workstation. It's designed for bands, but you can use it for voice as well. Again, this is showing you that you don't need a studio, you don't need lots of specialist equipment. You've got what's already in your pocket. Okay, so let's let, let's just go straight. So if you unwrap already first, you unwrap a couple, pop them in the mouth, and then we're going to record. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is, and can I just say, look at these shoes. I do like these. They're very, very cool. So I'm not going to put words into your mouth, just sweets. Okay, so... Okay, so silence while Sarah talks and describes her sneakers while eating sweets. I'm Sarah, I'm currently eating two glassy mints, hopefully you're going to get to about five by the end of this. One, two, <laughs> a pink sparkly, pink sparkly ombre, white loafing, <laughs> with rip-off converse detail. This is really difficult. Um, they don't have a lot of tread, so I keep slipping everywhere. Um, they're not super comfortable, despite being rip-off trainers. 
We match my socks, which are also pink. And my teeth are sticking together. Um, not what else, they are very sparkly. I was admiring them on my own feet last night at demo factory in the lights. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Round of applause for Sarah, ladies and gentlemen. As Samir eats his Haribo and describes his sneakers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, these sweets are delicious, but can I say the same for my shoes? Well, they're okay, they're not great. I'm wearing brown shoes at the moment. These are the kind of shoes that you might eat at breakfast while you're eating an egg, or at lunch with your cola bottle for your drink. These shoes aren't the best because they are not great with puddles. I do feel a bit of water every now and again, which is why sometimes I do need to hold my teddy for moral support. But at the end of the day, if I did have to choose whether I would put a ring on these shoes, I'd say no. <laughs> they're brown, but they're not as tasty as chocolate. And you can help someone like Samir just by donating right now. <laughs> Yeah, just go to sweetsneakersounds.com forward slash Patreon. Okay. <laughs> That's so a lie. Our audio, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, uh, Samir, Simon, and Sarah. That was wonderful. So what Chris is using here is a thing called Libsyn, and um, this is a little bit boring. There's lots of videos that show you how to do this, but he's just going through and he's uploading it. Now, if it wasn't for Charlie Sloth, what we'd also be doing is we'd be creating artwork for our podcast. Okay, so what we do is we take some pictures of the people eating the sweets on stage, thank you very much, I love that. Um, what something like Libsyn does, is it not only puts it to SoundCloud, but it puts it to every place that anybody can get podcasts. Ooh. So potentially 51 different places, which can save you quite a lot of screen time in terms yeah. of uploading things. The whole point of this session, ladies and gentlemen, is just to show you that you don't need any special equipment. You don't need any ideas, well actually, listen to some of my radio shows, you know, you can have a whole career with both of those uh, factors. But yeah, you, do, you, you can just start, you can get out there, you can make something. Did you enjoy making Sweet Sneaker Sounds? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Anybody feel like making a podcast now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, and also the one that goes to show you, you don't need an, 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 an amazing idea, you don't need the, all these things that hold people back. Just go out there and make something. We, we're trying to show you that, that all these barriers, all these questions that you've got about, what about this, what about that? Go and make it. Chris has got it on his phone. Hold there. Hopefully if you've subscribed and then you go into Pod Talks, press feed. Anyone else seeing it? Yep. Those of you that have got it already, I'm going to ask you to press play right now. But make sure your speakers on turn it loud. We just made that. Oh god, it's like a lot of Furbies going up at once. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you just all made that. All of us here today in the room have made that. We've put that something. There are people in South America that could be listening to this right now. Yeah. How quickly is that going to be? We have actually just four minutes left, so can we hit play on it have a listen? Yeah, okay. So let's hit play on the big screen. So you can stop on your phones now, so those of you who haven't got it yet, this is what it sounds like. This is what we just made this morning. Good morning, my name is Charlie Stoff. I'm a Ooh. DJ on Radio 101 Extra. Um, my name is Secret Agent Sideman, um, aka Lettuce, aka Garlic Bread. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, is it you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. I was like, come to London, I'm going to give you a job on my new Radio 1 show. And he went, ah! Ah! I put the phones out. <laughs> and, then Alex, and then Alex turned to me, he's like, does he want to do it? And I was like, obviously. <laughs> he's on his way down. <laughs> was there a little part of your Sideman that thought he was winding you up? Well, first of all, it didn't go quite like that because <laughs> I was in the cinema when he rang me, so I couldn't hear exactly what he was saying. He was like, oh, what I had was coming out on Thursday. And, and like you said, I was like, yeah, 100%. I didn't know, so I didn't know why I was coming none at all. So when I walked into the room, Alex was in the room and Charlie was in the room, and Alex said, uh, we're going to test out you and Charlie sound on the mic. I was like, wait, wait a minute, what do you mean we're going to test out we sound on the mic? So I thought we were going up there for like a one time thing, and I was like, no, you got a job in the end. That's how it, that's how it happened. 
And were you already a fan of radio? Is that a new world for you? Yeah, obviously I was definitely a, a fan of Charlie. That's why I hit him up in the in the first place. I just love the way he does things. But, um, no matter what he's doing, he makes you feel, even if there are restrictions, like there are no restrictions, like he has no borders, and I, I love that about the way that he does things. So yeah, when they told me there was a lot of you know crying and vomiting and slam. So yeah, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> It was amazing. Um, all would have their own personalities and would be very stereotypical towards what type of person they were. So the, the, the manager was like, it was a cop and he spoke like that. Hello, Charlie, you make the one girl one cute video on. And then I had the street tube who was like proper royal. Like, what do you say, my guy? You better say big good. Um, and like, all characters would be on the screen at the same time, but they would all be played by me. And it got picked up by um, World Star Hip Hop, which was like the biggest hip hop site in the world still is. Um, and got made exclusive to them. 58 weeks, I delivered it every Monday at 9 a.m. Without fail, I'd film it, edit it, write it, deliver the whole thing myself. Everybody else was like, wow, this Chinese slot guy is incredible. I was like, you guys hated me last week. <laughs> Stand me. I got a job at BBC Radio on Extra. Um, and even, then, even that, there was a massive crossroad in my life. So I just signed a massive deal with Atlas Films in LA. It's a bit of a gamble because I could go there, I've got a nice balance in my bank off the back of the deal and it might not work and off the back of that, where do I go? And then I've got this opportunity at the BBC where I can do radio which is something I've always wanted to do and I've always been confident and believed in myself to know that if I'm given an opportunity in a building like the BBC with a platform like the BBC, I'll take over. I've always had that mentality and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the radio thing. And everybody around me was like, what? You're going to do radio over TV and film? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. At the end of the day, I knew that if I took the opportunity that I was given via the BBC, utilise a platform that would become available to me, that I would become what I am today. And I'm more successful now and more richer than I ever would have been if I would have went to LA. Wow. Cool, hi. Uh, yes, yeah, so welcome to the keynote on community radio. Um, can I just say thank you all for coming? Like, this is amazing that we've got all you guys here. We've got such a, a, an amazing panel, so many different kinds of people up here. So, we'll introduce you guys very shortly. My name is Nikki Logan, and I'm the station manager for Transmission Roundhouse. Um, we used to be called Roundhouse Radio, um, and that had been going for about 10 years. So we've just rebranded, new station, fab team, all women, all the time. Some sick uh, men on there, some sick men, some sick non binary people. My name is Rhys Parkinson. Firstly, like, thanks for having me. This whole panel is super inspiring because they all inspire me. Um, so it's cool to be here. I have a show on BBC Radio 1 Extra, uh, Sunday evenings called Hashtag 1 Extra Talks. <coughs> and I used to be on Represent Radio as well. Uh, hi, my name's Harrison Stock. I am from Transmission Roundhouse. I have a show every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, um, and it's all about brand new indie and electronic music. Hello, um, my name's Adrian, and I kind of caretake and look after for Represent Radio. Hi, my name's Glory. Um, I'm a presenter on Represent Radio, Saturday 8 to 10 a.m. for those who are up early. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, then. Hi, y'all. I'm Stitchy Shy. I know I've got glasses on, but I've got something wrong with my eye right now, so just hiding that. A little bit of swag, you know. But um, I host the breakfast show on Radio Radio. I do the One Extra Residency as well on BBC One Extra. I host for MTV and I started off at Represent Radio. My name's Martha. I came from Represent as well, and I play now on Radar every Thursday, 8 till 10 pm, and I play electronic music. And I also host and produce a podcast for Resident Advisor called The Hour, which is like a nerdy electronic music podcast, uh, documentaries and discussion on electronic music culture. I may look like a girl who doesn't have energy right now, but when it came to the afternoon of the conference, after Charlie Sloth left, uh, I was like, I'm not vlogging anymore. I'm not vlogging anymore. I'm going to concentrate on what I want from all the talks I'm going to go to during the student radio conference. So. After Charlie Soft left, I went to another conference and it was a guy talking about different audio platforms that could help our shows or we can get our voice speaked out. So that was really good. The audio platforms are Spotify because we're getting more new podcasts up there. 
uh, Audio Boom and Acast. I'm going to look at all of them later. And then after that I went to a keynote conference. There were so many producers and presenters on stage from Brandhouse Transmit, from Re Represent and BBC Radio 1 Extra. There were so many people on stage. I mean, look at all of them. There was like nine of them on stage? I don't know. So many people. It was a good conference. Like, they told us, like, me one day your station could be on our show. Just, like, email us with your pitch, what you think your future of that show would be. So, you never know, no, Sound the Underground could be on Transmit Roundhouse one day. And then I'll have to sacrifice my life from going to Scotland to London. That's what it sounded like we had to do if we wanted to join one of the stations. And then after that keynote talk, almost like everybody in the audience went down to the state and just smashed all the presenters and producers just saying, hey, can I still join your radio station? And, or can I just follow you on Twitter? Where do I follow you? Can I follow you on YouTube? Um, do you have Instagram? It was just so many people from the audience just crashing down the presenters and the producers before they wanted to leave. Me and Katie are just relaxing right now and getting ready for, we're just getting ready for the Student Radio Awards. Uh, my uh, radio station, City so Radio, is getting nominated for two awards. Outstanding, and I can't remember what the other one is. But we're gonna make two awards, so that's great. Ah! I don't care if we win or not, I'm just glad we're nominated. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? What are you gonna say? Hi guys, welcome to Caesar Dev. <laughs> no, don't put it into my channel. <laughs> These are my friends and we're going to do Look how cute I'm the... I'm the one with this. No, we're at the student oh, video. We're at the student video oh, board. Get your coats on, come on. And we're jumping. You can still... Hello and welcome to the best YouTube channel in the world with myself, Alex Colbert. Oh, Alex, you even managed to sign the intro to YouTube you channel. Right there. How do I stop They're it? still videoing me. Hello. Oh, oh god, no. That's a real camera. Hello. I don't know how to hey, stop Debs, it. Hey, Debs, Lola stop videoing this because she stole your camera. Uh, enjoy the message from me. I don't know how to stop Lola's it. Lola's a criminal. You see this? You see this activity? <laughs> Did you want some Prosecco? Stop filming me. Matthew, Matthew, down. <laughs> it's a <Fun>. good angle. <laughs> <laughs> Click a fun. Hello. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't know how to stop it. Let's see. <laughs> that was top boy. See if that doesn't end up on the YouTube channel. How do you stop the video? I just, it's still filming. The button? Yeah, that button. Hi, Dad! I'm a great dad. Here's the uh, here's the man, here's the star, Mr. Get Gregor Davidson. I'm not an egg. And here's the alcoholic uncle. How did you stop this? We're sorry, Deb. So to give out this award, please welcome Heart Radio's Steve Sims. So uh, this is a bit awkward. Following Take Me Out, does this make me the X Factor or the Voice or? Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel like deck on my own. Anyway. Uh, oh. Too soon. Okay. <laughs> so I like reading lists, and this is the best selection of words on a card I've ever had. Radio's alternative elections. <laughs> URF's crispy cream hunt. <laughs> Smoke Radio's Regent Street Light. City Radio's campus. I'm going to say this one in this voice. Smoke Radio, Europe's best car. Uh, Shock Radio. And Smoke Radio, so you think this is coming? Um, highly, highly commended goes to. URF's Krispy Kreme Hunt <laughs> and City Radio. <laughs> so, the winning entry is. Shop. <laughs> vlog oh my goodness uh, we got in at 1am last night it was a good night there was everybody dancing on the floor 
doesn't matter if we didn't get an award, we still had a great time. I mean, we always got, like, best audience award, because we got the highest recognition for that. But we didn't win the award, we just got a certificate. Good enough! Anyway, I can't say much, because my camera's running out of memory due to I filmed for the last two days on one SD card. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you to my classmates for doing a clip. I had no idea they did that after I came back from the toilet. I'm so happy they did that. I haven't watched all of it yet, but I wonder what Alex and Julie and all the guys are saying on that little clip video. <laughs> I'm so happy they missed with my camera for a while. <laughs> anyway, give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. And please comment if you were ever at a student radio conference, even if it was in Norwich or maybe next year, it's going to be in Manchester. And you may see me there, me Danger Debs. Anyway, bye guys!